decoding for kids. In this video, we are going to play a new game, Mona, Wayfinding with Code. In this game, they have used the visual programming language using blocks where students simply drag and drop visual blocks to write code. Visual programming is a fun and easily understood way to teach the logic of coding. So let's play lesson 1 to 10 in this video. At first open a new Chrome browser and type power of code. In this click the first link power of code. Here in this page change the languages to whatever you want. Now I am changing it to English. Here in for students click explore activities. Here now I am going to play the game Moana. It's a wayfinding game. So click this and give start. Begin now. Yeah, this is just an intro video. If you want, you can have a look at it. Or you can just skip the video. Yeah, this is lesson 1. So this is a cano and Mona and Moi are there in the cano and you have to reach the destination. Here the instructions given is drag a move forward block to the workspace and hit the run to try your program. So I am moving the move forward block over here into the workspace and click the run button. Yeah, you can see Mona reaching the destination. Yeah, lesson 1 is completed. Yeah, this is lesson 2. The instructions given is use the move forward block to help Mona and Mohi reach the fish bank. Yeah, this is the fish bank. So, they have to move forward 3 times. So, I am placing the move forward block three times over here and click the run button yeah they have reached the fish bank lesson 2 is completed this is lesson 3 the instructions given is use the move forward and turn right blocks to get the cano closer to the fish once you get there be sure to use the fish block to catch the fish So you have to move forward first. So already the move forward block is placed over here. Then you have to turn right. And again you have to move 2 steps forward. And you have to catch the fish. So I am placing the fish block over here. And if you click the run button. You can see Mona catching the fish. This lesson is completed. Yeah, this is lesson 4. Two more fish out there. Let's catch them one by one. And here the instructions given is use the move forward and turn right block to get the cano closer to the fish and catch them using the fish block. So you have to move forward two times. And you have to catch the fish again you have to turn right and again you have to move two steps forward and you have to catch the other fish so now i'm clicking the run button yeah now mona got the first fish yeah the second fish also caught yeah this is lesson 5 we have three more fish to catch and the instructions given is keep catching the fish using the move forward and turn right blocks to position the can so you have to move forward three times And 
you have to catch the fish. Then you again you have to turn right and move forward three times. And you have to catch the second fish. Again you have to turn right and move three steps forward. And you have to catch the fish. Now you click the run button. Yeah, now Mona caught the first fish. Now she's catching the second one. And finally she got the third fish also. Now this lesson is completed. Yeah, this is the introduction to Leap's video. If you want, you can have a look at this video. Or you can just skip the video. This is lesson 6. Come on, Mai, let's see where these rocks are coming from. Here are the instructions given is Speed up towards the barge, that is the source of the rocks, by adding the move forward block inside of the repeat 4 times loop. Yeah, in the last six lessons, if you see, you have been using the move forward block four times, five times to move forward. So instead of writing so many quotes, you can use the loop. So inside this repeat four times loop, I'm moving the move forward block. So if you see, they are moving forward four times. That's it. Now this is lesson 7. They are over there. Let's move closer to the barge. Here the instructions given is use the repeat 4 times loop to move forward faster. Remember to rotate the cano first. Yeah, this is the cano and it's facing some other direction. So you have to move it to the correct direction. So you have to turn the cano left and you have to move 4 times forward. So I am using the repeat 4 times block. And if you click the run button, yeah, this lesson is completed. This is lesson 8. The instructions given is zigzag using the turn right and turn left blocks in order to dodge those deadly rocks. Then try using more than repeat x times block to move forward faster. So if you see here already there is a loop given here and inside that move forward block is placed. So now you have to move three times forward. So already the block is placed over here. Then you have to turn right and you have to move forward two times. So you can changing this to two times and placing the move forward block inside this. Then you have to turn left. And again you have to move forward four times to reach the destination. So I am placing the move forward block inside this and changing this to 4 times. And if you click the run button, you can see Mona and Moi reaching the destination. Yeah, we have dodged these rocks. This is lesson 9. And the instructions given is continue to zigzag while approaching the Kakamura badge. This time you need to include four blocks inside the repeat six times block. So they have given repeat six times block. 
now you have to move forward turn left again you have to move forward and again you have to turn right yeah these steps will be repeated six times so if you click the run button since it's a zigzag position we are using this loop to reach the destination yeah finally they have reached the batch yeah this is lesson 10 and the instructions given is use two different repeat x times block to approach the kakamura ship while zigzagging to dodge the rocks here at first i'm placing the repeat four times block so that you have to move four steps forward then again i'm placing the repeat block and changing this to three times since again it's a zigzag position and you have to turn right first move forward then turn left and again you have to move forward yeah now if you click the run button you can see them reaching the dodge Okay guys i have completed lesson 1 to 10 to continue the game keep watching my upcoming videos thanks for watching